do have stuff on the Cobbers channel. During the previous video, I replaced this starter on the 93 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Just by judging by sound, it appeared that the gears inside the starter were stripped. And what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart to find out if my suspicion was correct, which more likely it will be, especially since every time I was trying to start the car, the Bendix gear would engage with the teeth of the flywheel, but it was not able to turn the engine, and there was a grinding noise coming out of the start. So, pretty self-explanatory at that point. But in the same token, sometimes I can be curious, and I have the time, so guess what? I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart, and if you have never seen what's inside a gear reduction starter, this is the perfect opportunity you'll get to see it. Plus you'll have the opportunity to see what would cause the gear reduction starter to fail. So let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera up close. That way you can get a better view. Okay, so I was right obviously, look at the gears of this thing, holy smokes, that is some severe damage, let's take the rest apart. <clears throat> Here's a broken gear right there. And if that wasn't enough, holy smokes, look at this thing. I was like super lucky that this thing started. Here's here's the other piece. I mean it's just ridiculous. But, aside from the damage, you know, you know, 
of the the operation of the gear reduction starters what makes it more effective if I can put this thing back in there this thing won't even go back in there it's so bad so you have the smaller gears take this thing off that spin when this part spins you know when you engage the starter when this part receives the current from the solenoid then the field that is created in here causes this part to spin right here so in turn the smaller gears turn this part and then that's you know when the bendix there's a movement that is created at the same time forces the bendix gear out and obviously engages with your flywheel and makes it spin but as you can tell this was this is crazy I mean the damage is pretty severe so let's finish taking this piece apart As you can tell, this cell node is held by three bolts. It's the last one. So, you know, this part activates the bendix. It makes it come out like that and spin. And it's all part of when this gets energized, it makes that movement. See this arm right here? When it's all the way in, the Bendix is retracted, and when it's pulled out, then it comes out. And then at the same time, it energizes this section of the starter, causing this to spin, and obviously makes the this part of the starter spin and that's what starts your car so in this case this poor starter is completely destroyed <clears throat> and like I said I'm lucky I was able to start this thing and drive it home so now you know what parts are involved on a gear reduction starter Plus you have an idea of what could fail if you start hearing a grinding noise coming out of the starter. Which at the first impression it sounds like the teeth that are grinding are the ones against the flywheel, but it wasn't. It was this. So there you go. Pretty simple video today. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I kind of knew what, what the problem was going to be based on the sound. But I wanted to see it for myself. And if you had any curiosity of your own, now you know what failed in this starter. So there you have it. Now you know what's inside a gear reduction starter. And now you know what parts can fail. Especially if they're not made out of good quality materials. You know, like this gear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.